今ギデンさんのインサイトとかあっちゃうデータとデータのギデンさんのセイマージュセイマージュってセイするとセイセイビアンセイあ同じ人の名前同じ人然后如果是同一个人的话就是就算他出现在呃可能两个图里面他也会就是被认为是一样的他会被画上等号对对对所以就是只要你标签应该就是标签有做好就不会有混淆的问题对对对呃 any other questions? なんでこんなに今回来るの<笑>人多いそういうことか<笑>あでもでもでも今度山田さんの時にもこのこれを<笑>いっぱい来てな今回はいありがとうございます Thank you, thank you for coming, 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 coming here, coming here. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming. Um, Japan, Japan Open for People Network uh, session. Now preparing uh, Yamada san talking about the photograph. Sorry, Frank. Speaking of、uh, the, I'm very happy to、uh, coming many people coming here, because, you know, and the next er, next room is、uh, now discussing the PyCom Taiwan. Um, this room is Kubernetes Day. Um, the talk,、uh, there are ton of people, so I'm I'm serious, um, because. My, I am a lovely pie, and my daily work is a cloud native. So I, 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 will, I will go jump to here,、uh, talking about Kubernetes security about that. But, but today, I, I need to manage this truck. I, I, can, take, I can talk about、like, uh, um, uh, Docker security issue and,、uh, and on prem system about that.、So, um, and more Kubernetes, you know, even the one, two, four, even very, 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 very bad things. <laughs> but, and,、uh, <laughs> but, but today, I should manage this track. So, thank you very much. これは日本語で言いますけど、本当に僕はあっちがクパイコン台湾だ、あっちがクーバネティフデーで、本当、オマーフ、これ日本語分かる人に言うと、本当にあっちでクーバネティフデーのところで、どっかセキュリティの話をあの思いっきりしてやろうかと思ったんですけど、オンプレミスでいかにどっかをやるととんでもないことになるかっていうのを、こうあの
、ギャフンって話をしようかと思ったんだけど、今日はこのトラックをマネージしなきゃいけないんで、ご,ご容赦ください。はいまあ、あとクーバネイティスは 1.24 ってとんでもないので 1.24 以降はかなりとんでもないものをいっぱいくあの払んでるのでそのネタを喋ったらみんな怒られるだろうなと思うぐらいのことをあっちで喋ったら多分クーバネイティス界隈から刺されるなと思いながら今日は行きません、はい、危なかったよく分かった方は僕が何を言ったかはあの分かった通りですあの英語でも話してましたけど本当に言いたりないところがありましたちょうどできましたああ、ネクストスピーカーイブタイマーってどっかに出せますあちょっと待ってくださいね、今なんかあれが鳴ってるんで、今回あれが一番困るんです、はい。<笑>あすいません、私いつも自分のでタイマーをセットしてそう、あ,あ大丈夫できるよあ、あ、大丈夫聞こえますかね。あ、聞こえます。あ、あ、あ、あ、これは。あ、あ、あ、あ、大丈夫ですか。あ、なんかうまくいく。わい、わい。え、ハロー。えー、わい、わい、わい、よせいま。よ、あ、多分。あのあ,あ、聞こえましたね。やっと、なんか、多分こっちのシステムがあるかもすいません、日本語で。Yeah, thank you for coming and uh, and uh, here uh, and uh, the profession again too. And I'm, I'm much appreciate and many people coming here today. Uh, so on the next on the other room is a famous on the event Kubernetes Day on the Python Taiwan. Um, next speaker is on the uh, Yamada san, and he met and uh, me at the uh, Hofdem. And this year, and uh, he's a uh, uh, good contributor and uh, for the PostgreSQL. Uh, he work for in the, uh, 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 he works for uh, the Japanese telecom company NTT and uh, and uh, open source research. So his talk is very good, but and uh, and uh, we help you for your and uh, PostgreSQL and uh, using PostgreSQL. Please welcome um, Yamada-san. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, thank you for coming today, and I'd like to, uh, I'd like to thank the organizers uh, for giving, giving me a chance to talk as a speaker at, at this place. Uh, now I'm going to talk about Postgres extension, but first, please allow me to introduce myself briefly. Nihao, Woja Yamada Tatsuro. I'm Tatsuro Yamada. Please call me Tatsuro or Tats.、Uh, I work for NTT Open Source Software Center as a database engineer. And also, I have contributed to Postgres community.、Uh, in terms of development,、uh, I'm a Postgres contributor. Uh, Oracle FDW committer,、uh, PG plan advisor, OSA.、Uh, regarding talks for conferences, I gave several talks at PGCon, PGCon EU, PGCon Asia, and so on.、Uh, today I'd like to talk about Postgres extension.、Uh, when I first met Postgres、uh, more than a decade ago, Uh, the most surprising thing to me was extensions because、uh, users could create and incorporate them into Postgres.、Uh, proper proprietary database couldn't do the same, so I was so, ex ex、uh, I was so surprised. <coughs> the purpose of this talk is to encourage your interest in Postgres extension.、Uh, So let's start my presentation.、Uh, I'll cover <coughs> four points on this talk. One, what is Postgres? 
two, overview of Postgres extension, three, how, exten how extension works, and finally, uh, summary of this talk. Uh, on the next page, I'll talk about what is Postgres. Uh, in this section, I'd like to review an overview of Postgres. <coughs> As you know, uh, Postgres is a popular database, a popular open source relational database. Uh, please take a look at this graph. <coughs> the orange line is Postgres. <coughs> uh, Postgres is in the fourth position after Oracle, MySQL, and SQL Server. Uh, you can see that <coughs> uh, it is an increasing trend year by year. So what, uh, what are the features of Postgres? The next slide shows the characteristics of Postgres. <coughs> yeah, uh, Postgres has many features, <coughs> but these three, are <coughs> these three are the most important, I think. First, Postgres license is less strict than GPL. <coughs> Second, Postgres supports SQL standard. Therefore, there is no terrible dialect of SQL. Uh, finally, extensibility. Uh, Postgres is highly extensible because it provides a mechanism to extend almost all functions. I am sure there are other features but these features are the reason why Postgres is so popular. So uh, various cloud vendors have provided Postgres services recently. Uh, as you might know, there are many DB as a service related to Postgres. <coughs> the table <coughs> on the right, show <coughs> right shows the leaders in cloud service as shown in the red box. Amazon, Alibaba, and Microsoft are the top three in the APAC region. As you can see, <coughs> all of these major cloud vendors provide Postgres services. Uh, there are also services that add value to Postgres by incorporating extensions or making unique improvements. I believe that Postgres will continue to grow in popularity. <coughs> so far, we have reviewed the overview of Postgres. Let's move on to the next section. <coughs> in this section, I will talk about the uh, <coughs> overview of extension. Uh, what is extension? <coughs> it is a package of objects necessary to extend Postgres. In other words, they are plugins or add-ons. So how many types and how many are there? I will show you in the next slide. <coughs> there are two types of extension. Uh, they are official and unofficial. Official extensions are <coughs> maintained by the Postgres Global Development Group and other extensions are maintained by a uh, company or uh, individual users. I counted them both. Uh, there are more than 1136 in total extensions in the world. I think it's a good thing because Postgres extension ecosystem is rich and active. I'd like to share a little about uh, GitHub called 1000 plus uh, Postgres extensions. In this GitHub, each extension is uh, explained with a uh, one-line description. There are many kinds of extensions on GitHub. If you are interested, please refer to it later. I think you will find it interesting. So. Uh, what are the merits of extensions? By using extensions, <coughs> we can add functions that do not exist in the bare Postgres, and also we can improve how to use functions. For example, <coughs> as you can see the figure, if you want to handle geographic information, you can use the PostGIS extension, and 
if you want to handle time series data, you can use the time scale DB extension. <coughs> As a result, Postgres can <coughs> adapt to various use cases. On the next slide, I will show you some useful extension for DBA. Yeah, uh, I will not explain each extension in detail, uh, but the one listed in the table are useful extension. Actually, the red text were developed by us. Uh, please try it if you like, uh, and I, <coughs> I would be happy if someone could help us with the development. <coughs> yeah, so far, <coughs> I'm sure uh, you got that there are many extensions out there. So I'll share points to note when using extension on the next slide. <coughs> yeah, you might already know, but I share two points to keep in mind for users. <coughs> the first, uh, <coughs> an official extension may be released irregularly, uh, and you may not be able to use the version uh, you want. <coughs> Therefore, uh, we recommend that you should check how active extension development is. The second is how to deal with problems because <coughs> problems may occur. Uh, I recommend how you feel, how you will tackle the problem. If you need high level support, <coughs> you should contact with the support vendor that can support an extension. Let's move on the next slide. Okay, now I will talk about how extension works. You want to know where you can extend Postgres, I think. <coughs> I will show you uh, that in the next slide. Um, please take a look at this table. Uh, the leftmost <coughs> column is the object that we can add, uh, we can add or modify. Uh, looking from the top, uh, I don't think you will be surprised about the uh, types, function, and operators. <coughs> uh, as for tables and index, <coughs> some people think it's interesting because it allows to add their own data format and index types. <coughs> Next, procedural language. If you create uh, <coughs> it by Rust or GoLang, you can use them to write stored procedures in the line, <coughs> in the line in red, uh, I think this is a very interesting mechanism. Hook points are all to extend the existing process. For example, if you want to create your planner, uh, you can achieve that by using them. Uh, I suppose you are interested in how it works. On the next slide, I will talk about the hook points more details. Mm. Hook points are <coughs> points in the source code that exist for various processes, and we can set callback functions. According to GitHub, called uh, the Postgres hooks documentation shows there are 32 hook points. As you can see from this <coughs> diagram, if we set a uh, callback function, at the hook point, we can replace the process with the uh, other process. I think the existence of this mechanism is the strength of Postgres. <coughs> now let's look at the specific types of hook points on the next slide. <coughs> uh, <coughs> you can see that there are multiple hook points for each category, such as general, planner, executor, and so on. For example, for example, <coughs> uh, if you look at the commonly used executor hook, you will see that there are five hook points in red. Uh, since these are frequ frequently used, we will look at them in more details. Uh, 
these are the remaining <coughs> remaining book points. If you are interested, please refer to the documentation. <coughs> now let's take a look at executor's hook point more closely. The leftmost diagram shows a query processing flow. If you zoom in on the executor process of red text, the process consists of four major functions, such as executor start, run, finish, and end. <coughs> and these functions have a hook point and a standard function called by default. <coughs> to use these hook points, uh, you can modify all of executor's processing. <coughs> on the next slide, we will focus on the executor end function. I will show you the source code. Yeah. This source code <coughs> is executor end <coughs> function. As you can see, it's so simple. Uh, if, a, if callback function exists, callback function will be called. The other hook points are same as the <coughs> function. So let's take a look at uh, auto explain extension uh, as an example of using the hook point. Mm. Auto explain uses four hook points. For example, mm. if you look at the uh, red text, mm. you will see the function explain executor end is set as the callback function for the executor end hook. Mm. Therefore, the function will be working at the end of the query execution. <coughs> In the next slide, we will see what the function does. The function uh, explain executor end has three processes as follows. Uh, please take a look at the <coughs> speech bubble on the right side. The function determines if the con <coughs> conditions for log output are satisfied. If so, it generates the text of the execution plan and outputs <coughs> the log. <coughs> Finally, uh, it calls the default function to exist. <coughs> In this example, we can see user's desired processing is added just before the default function standard executor end. <coughs> I know uh, you want to develop extensions. Let's talk about what you need to do as a first step. Uh, step one. Uh, step one is to try running and reading an extension called uh, black hole. Uh, this is the extension that has a function to Postgres that always returns new. The, sec <coughs> the source is so minimal. The source is minimal. So it is easy to grasp the big picture and you can use this as a template. Mm. Step two, <coughs> uh, you should try to understand or to explain or something extension that you write. To understand its source code, <laughs> I recommend using the log output function, uh, e-log, and also debugger. <coughs> this is an example of black hole installation and run. Uh, I'll skip this slide. If you are interested, you can run it later. On the next slide, I'd like to share points of note for extension developer. In a nutshell, the development takes time and cost. <coughs> As for technical skill, uh, Postgres was created by Shiran, so you need the skill to write Shiran. <coughs> at the same time, you also need knowledge that is the uh, internal implementation of uh, Postgres. As for 
<coughs> quality is uh, quality and maintenance. Uh, you have to be careful about <coughs> quality because uh, bug may cause data loss. <coughs> Therefore, even if it's an uh, extension, it needs a test. <coughs> okay, let's say you created a nice extension. Next up is <coughs> maintenance work. <coughs> we can get a new version of Postgres every year. So we have to adapt a new version of Postgres. <coughs> I suppose some people may wonder <coughs> if it is worthwhile to develop extensions. <coughs> uh, my thoughts are on the next slide. <coughs> yeah, uh, I believe it is worthwhile to work on development, developing extension because there are three merits. One, you can get deeper knowledge than users by working on the development. Two, when you release it successfully, you can contribute to the community, not just yourself or your company. <coughs> Finally, <coughs> uh, creating extension is fun. For these reasons, I'm working on the development of extensions. Uh, if you are interested in that, <coughs> I would recommend you to try to develop it. So uh, to conclude my presentation, I'd like to summarize the uh, important point on the next slide. Uh, <coughs> one, what is Postgres? Uh, it's a popular RDBMS that is ranked fourth in the DB engine ranking. Uh, many cloud vendors provide Postgres as a database as a service. Mm. Two, overview of extension. Since more than 1,000 extensions exist, <coughs> they, allow you, they allow you to handle various use cases and I share the points of note for the user. Three, <coughs> how, <coughs> how extension work? Yeah. I introduced pr places that are extensive and also hook points that are strong points of Postgres. Then I share the <coughs> template to create an extension and the points to note for the developers. I hope this talk will encourage your interest in Postgres extension development. Uh, I'd like to finish my talk. Thank, <coughs> thank you for taking time to join my talk. Shireshi. Um, I'm wondering what's the difference between uh, Postgres extension and Postgres uh, foreign data wrappers. Uh, difference between the uh, Postgres extension and foreign data wrapper. Oh, so, so the foreign data wrapper is uh, one of the Postgres extension, yeah. right? Okay, and I have another question that um, if I want to implement my own uh, storage layer, how can I use this 
uh, extension to do that. Um, can I? Um, I mean, uh, uh, in Postgres, there is only one storage engine. Mm -hmm. um, that is different from Postgres and MySQL, right? So if I want to write my own storage engine, how can I use this uh, extension to do that? Um, yeah, I want to do something similar like um, time scale DB. Yeah. What's the what's the proper starting point of that? Oh really? Okay. So yeah, I will take a look at that extension. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good question. Um, any other question? No. no. Okay. Um, Yamasan. Thank you for this presentation and, uh, and, uh, your, and uh, your book success contribution. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, next speaker is uh, Dr. Iyo Sensei. <laughs> sensei, Sensei, this. Hi. Ah, thank you very much. Thank you very much.